hello, my name is Echo, and today I'm going to show you how to draw yourself in the style of the glorious cartoon that is Adventure Time. Yeah, enthusiasm, let's get started. The first step in drawing yourself in any style is to figure out and define what you look like. I know it sounds kind of silly, but just go with it. If you were a character in Adventure Time, what would you look like? Do you have curly hair or straight hair? Do you have long hair or short hair? What kind of clothes do you wear? Do you wear tank tops? Do you wear hoodies? Do you wear t-shirts? It helps to make a list of all of the things that define you as a visual character. Take me for example. I wear a lot of red and black. I usually wear things with sleeves. I love clothes with hoods. Usually I have side bangs, but I always have these things hanging down by the side of my face. And if my hair isn't down, then it's usually in a ponytail. The next thing you'll need to do is define your body type. If you have curves like Fiona, or maybe you're tall and thin like Marceline. There are lots of characters in the show that you can take inspiration from. Sometimes it can be helpful to have a picture of yourself as a reference. Once you have a list of characteristics that define your personal appearance, then we can start drawing. All great works of art begin with a circle. This will become your head. After you have the circle that's going to become your face, you need to move on to the rough outline of the body. Once you have the basic outline of the head and the torso, then you can add the neck and arms and legs. This will give you a base to start with. Something very distinct about the Adventure Time style is that the arms in general are very noodly. Very technical term there, Echo. If you're not completely comfortable with drawing the basic figure for your character, or it's just not coming out the way that you want it to, you can always Google image search Adventure Time Base. This will bring up tons of images of the basic form for Adventure Time characters. Tracing other people's work is a fantastic way to start to learn a style. When you find an image you like, you can print it out and then trace over it, or you can just put your paper directly on the screen and trace it from there. Just be careful not to break it. Crap. Once you have a base in pencil, then you can start adding your features. For me, we would add my ponytail, my side bangs, my side hair? What do you call those things? And then we would move on to the face. Usually Adventure Time characters don't have noses, except for the Ice King who has enough nose for everyone. But you, you get it? Because he's got a big nose? Okay. Usually Adventure Time characters just have two black dots for the eyes. Next, for my character, I'm going to be adding my black tank top and my red and black jacket because everything I wear and everything I own is black and red because one day it just took over like a disease. Moving on. Remember when you're drawing your Adventure Time character that you should only have four fingers, because no one's had five fingers for 20 blablillion labels. Then once you have a completed pencil sketch, just go over it with pen, wait for it to dry, and then erase your pencil marks. After that, you get to color it in however you want. Personally, I like coloring my sketches digitally. Ta-da! Awesome! Finished! Now you can make creepy fanfiction comics with your favorite characters. And now, for the sake of an added example, I'm going to be drawing a couple of my YouTube friends in the Adventure Time style. Swipe left! this, please let me know, post a link in the comment section, or you can send it to me over Twitter. I would love to see all of your awesome artwork. If you want to join my awesome little community, then you can click here to subscribe, you can click here to see one of my previous videos, or you can click, well you can't click here, but you can go to any of these places and just look for Echo is Weird and find me. I think that's everything, so hopefully I will see you next week. Bye! Oh yeah, let's go! Woo!